All right, guys. I took the head back apart. This is after running it on gasoline, just straight gasoline, for uh, approximately 12 hours. Um, there was a load on it, about 200 watts, for a good portion of that time, about six, seven hours of it. Um, that's the top of the piston. Uh, you can see the difference. There is a large amount of carbon buildup. It's gooey. You can see the direction of the burn due to it. You, you can see how here is the, the carbon deposit point. Um, on the head side of things, it's a little bit misleading because you should be thinking of this in terms of this direction here. There's your intake valve. So the intake valve Obviously, for people who know engines, it's the larger of the two. Um, you can see the exhaust valve has some cleansing around it from the high-speed, high-temperature exhausts. And the uh, intake valve has the greasy look to it from the hydrocarbon fuel. Let me get as much detail in there as possible. Right there. I um, mean, you can see how, let's see if I can get this to stay up there, there. Now this edge and this shape help form this right here. You'll notice that the, the bottom of it is smaller due to this protrusion into the combustion chamber, whereas this open space gives us this much larger area of enriched burn, which is the cause of the deposits themselves. I'm hoping that that seated the piston pretty well. And uh, I will be conducting some HHO burns to see what happens to the engine itself. You can see here, I'll stay out of the light. Get you a shot of the spark plug real good. This plug still looks good. Um, it's a, got a little tinge to a white on it, indicating some heat. Uh, other than that, it looks like a fairly typical gasoline engine. So, there you go. Let's see if we can see anything on the inside walls of the piston. Bring the light over here. Okay, you can see the upper edge, the upper rim, um, has deposit on it. And you can see it's almost a gel coat at the top of the piston. So, there's that. I will, uh, I forgot to CC the head before I put it together. I wanted to get the test done so much, so I'll go ahead and CC it now. Um, the solution I use for CC is usually a solvent, but something that's not going to evaporate too quickly. So, alright, take it easy.